It's me, C N B. And today we're back with another ASMR gaming video. Tonight's video is a very, very special collaboration video on NBA 2K20. That's right, this is my first collaboration that I've done on 2K. And uh, guys, let me tell you, it was a big, big success, lots of fun. Um, I'm playing 3v3 Pro-Am with Dido, 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 ASMR, and let's play ASMR, who you guys have seen in the past. I believe this is actually my first collaboration with Dido. I've been watching him for a long time. He is a, a, a channel out of the UK. And, uh, yeah, and obviously you guys know Let's Play. I have collabed with him in the past, but we play some 3v3 programs on the CNB, the Savannah CNB squad. Uh, we are not yet, you will see, um, we are just amateurs at this point, so I don't have any of the custom logos or custom jerseys or any of that cool stuff. But, uh, yeah, the CMP squad, we got some dubs. We did take a couple of L's. Um, some, we were having connection issues for some, uh, which, ex which was uh, unfortunate, but we definitely got a, a good bit of dubs for you guys. So, if you are interested in ASMR and ASMR gaming, and 2K and basketball, then this is the video for you. I will link their channels in the description down below. Uh, you can go and subscribe to them. If you're not currently subscribed to me, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button and uh, I will uh, be doing daily uploads uh, for the foreseeable future. So, anyways, let's get into the gameplay. Okay guys, so here is my uh, breakdown on the attributes here. We have a glass cleaning lockdown with the sharpshooting. That's right, sharpshooting takeover. Uh, we are at 98 overall. I can't remember which physical pie chart I used. It was probably the, uh, it looks like the balanced, if I'm not mistaken. But, I mean, 76 speed, I might have done the vertical. I don't know, I can't remember, it's so long ago. This was literally my original, my player build. Honestly, those physicals look really, really low across the board. They gotta be balanced. But, uh, yeah, we have an 82 standing dunk. Only a 42 driving dunk, but a 68 layup and an 87 go close shot. A 79 mid-range, a 75 three-point shot. 84 free throw and 83 post fade. Almost no ball handling uh, playmaking attributes at all. 48 pass accuracy, 38 ball handling, and 33 post moves. But look at that defense though 85 interior defense, 72 perimeter defense, 67 lateral quickness, 73 steal, 90 block, 82 offensive rebound, and 89 defensive rebound rebound. So, so, here we have our lineup. <laughs> That's right. Me as an all-star three and uh, Dido and Let's Play as rookies, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I have been playing 2K for like nine years. Um, I don't know how much, how long they've been playing 2K for, but uh, I, I, I didn't ask them but I'm using my uh, rebounding, glass cleaning, uh, what is it, the, um, the glass cleaning lockdown it is the red and green pie chart. I am an absolute sniper, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was sniping this, this entire, this entire this little session we had. Uh, so get ready for a lot, a lot of green lights. As I break that fade, that was not good timing at all. We're gonna we're gonna be keeping all the gameplay, guys. I'm not gonna be just showing you highlights. I'm gonna show you all of the gameplay of all of our wins. Now, uh, this, like I said, rough start, rough start. I was kind of uh, this was our literal very first game, so um, it took some time to kind of feel each other out, uh, feel it, feel how each other played. Uh, I wasn't expecting, I, did, I didn't know what to expect. Um, 
So again, takes a little bit, but we're on the board there, four to two as Let's Play hits that little mid-range J. Uh, I kind of abandoned him. I, I should have probably played a little bit better defense there, but here we go. We are getting ISO'd by the big man. I didn't even see what kind of big man he had. And I go ahead and get that jump right there, get the good defense and the rebound. We're going to go coast to coast. I'm going to dribble out to the, to the wing here. Again, I was kind of feeling it out. I see Dido over there for mid-range, and again, unfortunately, he was having some major, major connection issues, uh, and I think it was causing problems for all of us, to be honest. Um, it was just kind of throwing off the, uh, the synergy of the team, but <laughs> as you can see, it's such a slow start, but guys, we fix that here in a second. Something begins to click, and uh, we start going off. Uh, my matchup was not playing defense at all, and as you can tell, I made him pay. We green light that. Green light that one. That is the first of many greens this video. I love this jump shot, 38, man. It's just, it's something else. Uh, but guys, let me know in the comment section down below. I was trying to figure out uh, what kind of player might look at that green? What kind of player this uh, build is comparable to? I'm a shooting power forward, a red and green power forward. Um, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Honestly, I, the first thing that comes to mind is like an Anthony Davis, but he doesn't finish as well as Anthony Davis, obviously. Uh, but, I mean, somebody that plays good defense and shoots well, uh, you know, three ball in the 70s, mid-range in the 70s, uh, that sounds like, that sounds like Anthony Davis to me, but again, uh, Dido just having some real, some real troubles this game with the, uh, connection, but we get it actually figured out, this was the only game that he was having these issues with, um, but anyways, let me know in the comment section down below as I'm getting left open again, let me go Go ahead and wrap around. And back on defense we go. Uh, so Dido is the point guard, by the way, and Let's Play is purple hair. <laughs> he is the shooting guard, and I am the big. So here we go. I'm going to the corner. And we're just going to spot up at the wing. I do have Hall of Fame lim Limitless on. So, uh, go ahead and dribble out. I, I have not used this guy in a long time. Um, it's funny because I, I don't know how to dribble. I used to, I, I'm not a dribble god. Here we go. Look at that green light. Dido does have Hall of Fame Dimer and Hall of Fame Floor General. But as I was saying, I do not have, uh, I do not have... Uh, good dribbles by any means, but using my Westbrook build, I have learned a thing or two on how to do certain moves, even with a bad ball handling. Look at that green light. Yes, sir. Green machine is busting to the full effect right now. I got gold, gold green machine on. It's hard to say. Uh, Yes, sir. Green machine, 26%. Doesn't matter. Like I said, guys, I told you it was a slow start, but once we get rolling, man, it's it's all over for them. Yep, no, that's just, I don't know about that, buddy. Go ahead and uh, pull up from, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I thought I was going to pull up from, from half court there for a second. We get the finish. We get the nice pass from Let's Play. And we get the finish there, but uh, they're gonna try and dribble, uh, just take take random shots. It's it's not gonna happen for them. Look at them. Then this guy's like they switched on to uh, as Dido's running out of bounds. They switched uh, their defender. It looks like a I don't I don't know what type of build he is, but obviously the uh, 
<laughs> the pig was not guarding me well enough as Dido just mashes and gets the bucket. But, uh, yeah, so first game, we have a double double and a 3v3 pro am. Like I said, slow start, very, very slow start, and some very unfortunate uh, connection issues. But we were able to salvage a nice victory. Epic, epic victory. So, I will see you guys in the next game. Okay, so here we are with game number two of the video. Unfortunately, we did take a, uh, take a loss uh, due to some more connection issues, but we discovered we, you know, figured out the problem, and uh, I promise that there will be no more connection issues for the rest of this video. Nothing but great gameplay from a couple of great ASMR channels, but... As you can see, we're going against an offensive threat, a sharpshooter, and an interior finisher. So right off the bat, I know that my guy cannot shoot, and I kind of use that to our advantage. As I get the wide open pass to my boy, Dido, Dido, Dido. And uh, I did change up the, the uniforms just a little bit. I got rid of the black sleeves and just went full on... Uh, full-on yellow, <laughs> yellow shorts, yellow shirts. Uh, there really isn't much that you can do when you're an amateur, but as Dido gets a little step back, I think he meant to uh, bump fake that, but actually went through it with an entire shot. But it's okay, I was there to get his rebound and dot, dot, dot him for a nice three ball. Almost got the inbound steal there. As uh, they're they're taking it in on the uh, the playmaking shot creator, and uh, was not quite ready for that open shot, and I did not set my feet there, but still was able to, to hit it, hit the shot. Big clutch time there, and get the chase down on the other end on top of that, all the way to the finish. On the, now that is. A nice little 10 second clip right there. The two point, the, the mid range pull up to the block, the chase down block to the dunk, and get the contest, the rebound. I was all over the place for a couple of these games. Yep, here we go. And yep, as I'm bragging on myself, let me throw it out of bounds right quick and remind you guys that I'm not a, that I'm not that great. All right. Okay, but uh, let's play some defense. That is what I am here to do, and uh, I do it well, as he hits a very, very deep three right there. But uh, we'll come back to the other end, and I think we have a couple of deep threes of our own here in a little bit, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, just playing, I, I believe that they were just pretty much, for the most part, just playing iso ball on uh, Dido's guy. Yeah, see, look, they're just playing, they're just playing basic, um, you know, rapping and, uh, you know, doing handoff passes as I'm wide open, but the pass brings me in, and uh, I end up getting fouled by Vietnam Jesus 612, of all people. Um, oh well, you know, what are you gonna do? But, uh, we'll come back over here, get the inbound pass waiting for this guy to, to back off of me, but he's not. I get the step on him, get the past Dido, he puts it up for an easy lay, easy lay. Going back to the other end, again, they're just playing iso ball, and let's play, gets the pick. He gets the pick, he dots me in the corner, but I wasn't really ready for it. I wasn't, re I wasn't open per se either. Get the slow crossover, the slow behind the back. Go ahead and get a little diversion there and a green from the wing. Green from the wing. That's 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 our spot with that Hall of Fame range extender. Those wings are may as well be corners, but uh, play a little bit of defense here. I don't know what this guy thought he was going to be able to do against me as he gets a nice little behind the back pass. Honestly, I should have blocked that. Got a 
39% contest, but we have our sharp takeover, and look at, look, they're literally not even guarding me, as I actually messed that release up, oh my gosh, the spotlight was on me, and I failed, of all the good shots we took in that first game, I failed when I had my takeover, as Dido gets the rebound over. I get the rebound though. Uh, Dido in the corner. Spotted up again. Four, three, two, one. The step back, the green. Yes, we got those clutch shots. You know we got the clutch shots. Get the steal on the other end. I throw the lob. Let's play. Brought it down though. Uh, he said he was holding trigger, but was unable to finish that lob. Uh, but it's okay, because we will end it with a nice little corner shot. Just kidding. It's like, I thought that was it. I thought that was gonna come, that was gonna be game right there, but uh, we got actually, I think they actually form a little bit of a little mini comeback here. <laughs> yep. They get the steal there. Nope, just kidding. Wait. Do I end it? Can I end it? Oh yeah, got him jumping. We got him jumping out of here, boys. Look at him there, they are jumping. Oh yeah, that's green, I remember that. <laughs> I was fooling with those dudes because I knew we had a big lead. So we win the second game, 21 to 12. Nice little 99.9 .9 overall performance for you guys. Again, shout out to Dido and Let's Play for the uh, amazing teammates. Uh, they were being great teammates. I, I was kind of, uh, may have been taking a, a lot more shots than I should have been, but it was, it, it seemed to have been working as we all do the Bernie, as we all, I miss that dance, you know, the Bernie. But, uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, so we are back playing against Re-Up the Grind, the Patrick Star, Clay Thompson. <laughs> Now these guys had a, a, a really strange lineup. They had a paint beast and a glass cleaning lockdown, so they are running with two bigs and a 3v3. So right off the bat, you know that they're going to be setting screens and just dancing around the screens. And uh, of course, we come out here looking like a couple of scrubs with their with their rookie ratings. I'm sure they were they were probably licking their chops, but little did they know that we got skill. We got skill, Dido, and let's play. They they weren't messing around. But uh. As, as as they green right off the bat, that guy, that point guard on the other team, was just playing iso ball and was just dribbling. And Dido hits the uh, the mid range, gets him back, quickly gets it right on back. But uh, playing a little defense here, I we quickly change our strategy because uh, we we kind of started to realize what they were gonna be doing the whole game. As I I should have just taken that shot, but I'll just go over here and green it. Uh, just got him jumping. Just just gotta get him jumping. You gotta let him know uh, you came to play. As they green another one, he's got that little same rollback animation that I have as well. So I had to show him uh, who who the better shooter was. He gets a hard foul. Dido draw, draws a hard foul on that drive. So, very tough there. Uh, as I have the ball now and get the back door, but they were ready for it. It's okay, though, because he got his own rebound. Dotted me for the green. And now we're going back to the other end. Uh, they're just taking crazy shots at this point, and I start to realize, yeah, yeah, you're, you're not going to sit here and just take every single shot, uh, not, not while I'm, not while I'm around, no, 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 but, uh, again, I, t I started to tell, uh, let's play, hey, uh, he's just going to take every shot, so just abandon your guy, and I will play defense, uh, for the both of us down here at the rim, and I uh, snagged that little rebound right there. Yep, that's another green. You already know. I'm telling you, I was feeling it today, guys. I was feeling it on the 
Wednesday uh, that we recorded this and uh, got, got my takeover again. Jumping, just stay jumping. Yep, let's play against the block. And dots the. Oh man. Gave it to the big man down low. I wasn't able to get a second jump in fast enough, but. Let's play it was kind of open for a split second there. Oh, they tried to try to get a pass in. That's that's gotta be. Ah, oh, come on. I thought for sure that was that was not going in. I remember that them getting blessed by that. Again, they're trying to give me the ball. Look at them, they're triple teaming. No, sir. I'm gonna dot the corner. Couldn't get that one to fall, but we're still back. We're playing D. Always. I, I, I swear, I don't think I will ever make a build that can't play defense ever again. Um, and actually, not that I've ever played one that can't play defense. I, even my um, even my playmaking slasher can play can play defense. So uh, as Dido gets the jam, look at that. The playmaking shot creator getting up, dunking it down. 13-13, get the bump steal immediately. You know, you know we're pulling. You know we're pulling. I can't believe he abandoned me like that. Knowing that I'm 100% with my takeover on as well. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Where are you going to play defense? Uh, as they hit another cheesy little uh, dribble, dribble move, dribble three. I swear these, these, these ball, uh, these, uh, these dribble gods, as they call themselves, they're so annoying, but uh, we, we, we dealt with them just fine. We kind of adjusted, and uh, Dido comes in and gets the, gets the, uh, gets the nice 37% contested layup right there. Uh, that was, that was, that was a blessing right there. But again, look at that. Look at the adjustments. Look at the adjustments. They're just... The two of them are just harassing the point guard. And now I get in on the action too. Get the block. He definitely was so mad. He definitely wanted to pull up on that. Or he, he did not want to pull up on that. He definitely wanted to... Uh, oh, look at that pass. That entry pass was pretty from Dido to Let's Play. Uh... Fluid offense that position. Look at this! Look at this basic, basic offense. It's not gonna work forever, guys. It's not gonna work forever. We'll give them the two. Just no threes. That's that is what we are going for. No threes. As I take. Oh man, a pretty contested three right there. But luckily, since they were. Oh, so concerned with me taking that three. No one was there to get the rebound, and Let's Play finishes it with a little put back. So, again, uh, another, another juicy victory there. That one was a little close, but uh, we were able to manage and uh, make some adjustments and pull it out. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, guys. On to game number, was this game number four now? Yeah, game number four. Uh, this will probably actually be the final game that we show as well, or at least that I will show. And look who it is. It's the same Patrick Starr, Clay Thompson face team. And uh, I can assure you, knowing what we know about this team now, uh, this game goes a little bit smoother, I believe. session we had. Also, I, I've been using non-shooting builds for a long time, and uh, to get on it, look at that, it's not going to work, guys. You gotta, you gotta switch up the game plan. It's not going to work forever. Dido wide open for three. Smacks it. Already up 6 nothing. Uh, so, like I was saying, I've been using non-shooting builds for quite a while now, and uh, to go to a 
shooting build, uh, much less, much less a shooting big uh, that some people, for whatever reason, don't think that he can shoot, even though he's got sharp shooting takeover. Sometimes class cleaning lockdown can be a little uh, misleading if people aren't looking at the takeover, but look at that, yep. Oh, I did not hit that one. Actually, I think I had a pretty poor shooting performance this game. I was not expecting that pass whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, so as I was saying, to go from a, uh, you know, using non-shooting builds over and over again. Oh, look at that. Look how, look how concerned they are with me. Look at that step back. Cheese right there. That is cheese. Dido has some really high ratings uh, as far as his offense goes. So that is really good. Really useful. But look at this. <laughs> look at us. Oh, man. Dido getting the, <laughs> getting the contest on what I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the paint beast. I don't know, though. Uh, look at that. They could have easily stole that. These guys were not good at all. Look at this. I'm just dribbling. Just dribbling. And I was trying to get that to let's play over there in the corner. Or on that mid-range baseline. And uh, they weren't having it. They just were not having it. Yeah. Got him jumping there. Go over to the wing. Bang. Green all day. All day. But, again, these guys just still sticking with that same game plan. They're not going to change it for anything. No. They, they're frustrated. they got to be getting frustrated now. They're going to be a lot more frustrated after I do this, though. Bang. Another one. I was just rifling them off at this point. Almost got that inbound steal, too. And, and, yep, call for the pick. Almost get the block right there from Let's Play. I, I jump at nothing, jump at nothing, still jumping. That's just how I do. That's how I play defense with this guy. You gotta, you gotta jump. You know, if you got that Hall of Fame pogo stick, that's definitely not going in, by the way. If you have that Hall of Fame pogo stick, it is, uh, can, it can help out tremendously. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's play said he was going to do it himself. But, uh, yeah, Hall of Fame Bogo Stick is essential. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Oh, man. That's so funny. With the Euro. With the Euro. Man, oh, man. That's tough. That's tough. That's embarrassing. Look at him. Just taking stupid shots. Stupid shots and get him in, get him out. That's it. That's that's the game, folks. That's the game. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Again, go down, check out their channels. That's Dido ASMR and Let's Play ASMR. Both make really great, really great gaming content. Also, Dido does. Uh, magic ASMR, which is really cool, really cool stuff, and uh, yeah, both of them are really talented and on the rise, just like us here. Uh, the CMP squad is on the rise, and we're going to continue to be on the rise until uh, until we're at the top, so hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you have not already left a, a like, and I will see you guys in the next one, so watching this during the day, then have a relaxing rest of the day. And if you're watching this at night, then have a great night. Sleep. And good night.